go ahead and head to downtown, baby. Let's go see what's going on in downtown these days. I haven't been to downtown for almost a month now. A little bit over a month. So I wonder how... I wonder how it's been. What's going on lately in downtown. Anything new and such. Roads are, roads are nice and dry now in Anchorage. What you guys are doing today on a beautiful Sunday here. A cozy Sunday, man. is uh all of a sudden going up now gas price is now hitting the four dollar mark uh here in anchorage you know it's just every summer it's always like that winter prime winter time it goes back down but then in the summertime it goes right back up to four bucks so i think the cheapest gas i've been seeing around lately is about 390 but right now it's going up to four four bucks a gallon Well, here it is. Look at the beautiful side of downtown Anchorage. Man, I can ride my scooter now, guys. So maybe I'll go and charge up my scooter, get my scooter camera, get my scooter helmet and gloves, and I need to come out here and do some scooter rides. But for the most part, look at the sidewalks. It's all nice and clear. The snow is a bit wet, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. Think about bringing my scooter out, but then we've been getting some wind right now. I'm not sure if you guys can hear the wind, so it's kind of windy outside. So maybe next weekend when it gets nice and warm, come out and do a quick scooter ride and check out downtown, see what's new lately here. This year they're gonna bring back the uh, weekend market, so the weekend market will, will be back on uh, on the corner of East uh, E Street and Third Avenue, right across from the Hilton Hotel. <laughs> Looks like downtown hasn't changed much. Still got the regular folks here. I don't see any new business or anything like that. Egan Center. GoPro camera. One is on my dash cam here. 
one that I use as a dash cam and then one that I use for you know like other stuff and my other GoPro just died out on me last couple weeks ago so whenever I start recording it just starts to glitch and everything just go haywire so I'm not sure if it's the battery or whatever the case is but look at this place right here this is the corner of where the 4th Avenue Theater used to be they haven't done nothing much out here the uh, fence right here is all blown away because of the high wind so that's a safety hazard wow downtown 4th Avenue looks so empty now well it's a Sunday night it is a Sunday afternoon it looks so empty but so beautiful at the same time. Look at this. I'm trying to see if there's anything new lately that I might not be noticing. But I don't see anything new recently. I don't see any hot dog stands out yet. No hot dog stands out yet. No hot dog stands and no seagulls crying out yet. So. There's a shuttle bus right here, so these are likely tourists. Yep, definitely tourists. They're way overdressed for this weather. The Bear Paul restaurant right here looks like they're out of business. They, they literally just opened like I think a year ago, year and a half ago, no more than two years ago. So I don't know what the information, what the deal is going on with that restaurant, but man. Hard being a restaurant downtown, man. So many competition and just so many restaurants in general. Panhandle Bar, Avenue Bar, Big Ray's Clothing Store. Alright, let's hop over to 5th again and then we'll loop over to 6th Avenue. Nothing much going on in 3rd Avenue. 3rd Avenue is more of a quiet street. A couple hotels here and there, but then nothing really much on Third Avenue, so that's why I don't really take you guys down Third Avenue. There are some restaurants in Third Avenue, though, that's for sure. For the most part, it looks pretty quiet in downtown for sure. Just a nice, peaceful Sunday. snowing out here in the valley yep lots of snow recently i believe uh up past sutton alaska i think they got about six to seven inches of snow today if i read it right anchorage we got about no more than a no more than two inches maybe an inch or so it's all melted by now already should be melted by the end of the by tomorrow but i think this will be the end of the winter i don't think we i don't expect to see any big snowfall i could be wrong but you know that's just my uh, Alaska experience. I don't want to see any more snow. I'm ready for spring. I'm ready for summer. I love this new building here. This is the uh, the old bank building. I wonder if there's still a bank, but this glass building is really nice. Makes Alaska, uh, it's like a really uh, modern. Makes, it's a very modern building compared to all these concrete buildings. I like it. Glass building. It's nice. I'm not sure how they uh I'm not sure how they're gonna hold up when there's a big earthquake, but it definitely makes anchors look beautiful. These two brown buildings on the right hand, that's the Captain Cook. Pretty well known restaurant or a hotel. It is windy though, I can hear the wind blowing through the vehicle here. building used to be a bank um, I forgot what bank it was it was like a it was a bank and then a, a 20, 2018 earthquake brought it down or not completely down but damaged it and they went ahead and rebuilt it I'm pretty sure it's still gonna be something all right this is a uh, sixth Avenue let me read you guys this comment anchors done big over here the years uh, something something is just so peaceful about 6th Avenue like this section here this section to um, I Street nice and quiet this 
this place here is an Airbnb right here. One of this house here, one of these houses is an Air Airbnb. And uh, last time I picked up a customer that was sleeping there, uh, resting there. And they're like, man, it was the worst thing ever because Gaslight is right across from it, which is a club. And she just couldn't get her sleep. But I believe, no, not Gaslight, um, Club LED. But then Club LED is no longer in business. I don't know what they're doing with that building now, but lots of dead buildings and lots of dead business out here nowadays. There's a hidden seafood place right here. You guys see this right here? You guys see that on the left hand? Right where the speed limit sign is? There's a place called Yama Yama Seafood. It's so hidden. And I've never been there before. I heard some good things about it, man. Man, that place is well hidden. There's also a cafe place here called Cafe. I heard lots of good things about that place too. And they're so hidden too because you just pass right by them. So lots of hidden restaurants and lots of hidden gyms in downtown and that's why I recommend people walk or bike and just kind of observe all the little alleyways and little small stores around here we just passed city bus we just passed the uh, city bus here Planet and Jacks yep I know the Planet and Jacks and then went to Club LED and then three hours a day damn the uh, coffee place right here they uh, there used to be a coffee place at this building right here they uh, they went ahead and moved over to a new location because they didn't feel safe due to the homeless uh, activity there goes Humpy's Humpy restaurant and flat top pizza and bar pizza and pasta Still got Willow Wall here on F Street. This is F Street right here. Wow, so nice and peaceful here too. I like F Street here. F Street's always nice. F Street, K Street, they're always nice and peaceful and quiet. Now, which way should we go, guys? Man, this side of downtown right here looks like a ghost town over here, man. It's all dead and quiet over here. What about crazy? <laughs> yeah, uh, crazy horse is still up and alive. Yeah, where should we go? Let's turn. Nothing's over there. Let's go back this way. Alaska Gourmet Subs. Sounds good. Never tried them before. This is a new piece. Uh, that's a new piece of art right there. That looks really nice. That wasn't there last time I seen it. So that's nice. Looks like uh, native art. Alaska native art. I like it man pretty soon it's gonna be tourist season we're gonna start seeing more tourists which is good for the economy a lot of the locals don't like the tourists but I love the tourists this uh, big bus right here on the left hand they're unloading a bunch of military people you guys see that big bus on the right on the left with the LEDs flashing a bunch of armies unloading off off there and that's the um, having all these brain farts. That's that one hotel. I forgot the name of it. I'm usually good with the I'm usually pretty good with the names, but I I'm forgetting these names because I just don't come here enough. All right, so nothing much over here. Quite Sunday night. Quite Sunday afternoon down here on 7th Avenue.
yeah pretty soon uh tourist season's gonna start more events in downtown and uh you know more activities will be going on downtown but for now it's just a nice quiet sunday we'll go ahead and loop back to fourth avenue and then uh make our way out of here watching from new zealand wow so far away Amazing. Oh, if you guys are planning to come visit Anchorage this summer, this video will give you guys a glimpse of what to expect in downtown, for the most part. Just another typical year, nothing crazy. There's a sushi spot right here on the corner of 4th and, uh, 4th and what, 4th and right here, right here by the Captain Cook. Not that many sushi spots right here in downtown, so. Nice and calm, but it is kind of windy outside, so if you guys are coming to downtown, definitely uh, dress, up, dress up for it. There's the police station, one of their substation. And right across here is the Gaslight Bar, along with Trapper Jacks, which is like a uh, clothing company slash kind of gift shop lots of gift shop right here at the corners I noticed that in downtown a lot of the corner stores they're like gift shops or some kind of merchandise store and this is the empty lot right here where that theater used to be at You don't want to fall in there guys it's about maybe 20 feet deep so definitely don't go walking down there you might not be able to get back out pretty danger hopefully they get those fence put back up or else somebody find a way to do a lawsuit all right this is f street right here alaska blue moose once in a blue moose <coughs> f station f station restaurant pretty packed in there too so that's good blender damn this place has changed so many times this place used to be like the uh, a brewery restaurant and now they're in this place called broken blender interesting interesting so this summer when they do the weekend market the uh, weekend market is gonna be right here at the corner right across from the Hilton Hotel which is where they usually have it back then I think they did about two years. I think two years ago they moved it to Southside Diamond Mall and then now they're coming back to the downtown Anchorage area. So let me know what you guys prefer. Do you guys prefer them to come back to downtown or do you guys prefer them to go um, to stay on the south side? In my opinion, it's kind of a mixed mix because they both have good traffic, but I also feel like the market, the vendors are more catered toward tourists and not locals. So it's a mix between, you know, I kind of like the diamond area because they get way more traffic, you know, all the shopping people that's already there to shop, and then the free parking, the open parking spot, but then in downtown, it kinda, it's kind of nice because it brings people to downtown, but then at the same time downtown, you're fighting for parking spot, and it's kind of hectic in downtown, so... I don't know it's a mix of everything if, if you're a vendor for the weekend market let me know if you guys if, if vendor if you prefer the south side location or the downtown location <clears throat> homemade pickle the, the south side didn't seem the same oh sorry Let's go ahead and go down to uh, 4th Avenue over here.
make our way to East Side Anchorage, East Side Mountain View. I don't want to go to Midtown or anything like that. I don't have any business up that way. swing through East Mountain View real quick and then we'll go ahead and conclude this live broadcast. Check out my check out my old neighborhood. this wind that we're getting right now the wind will help dry the road really fast since it's really warm so this wind here is actually a really good benefit now some places do have some power outage because of the wind um, as far as I know no power outage in the to Mountain View. We're on the east side of Mountain View. This is the neighborhood that I grew up in when I first moved to Alaska. I like Mountain View. It has its good and bad. About 50-50% now. Nice little Camino. see what kind of hidden treasures is in Mountain View. Whenever I do these drives, I'm always looking out for some cool Toyotas that might be buried up in snow and then I like to just go approach the owners and see if they want to sell it. So I'm always on the lookout for cool stuff like that. And 
this brings so much memories, Mountain View. My whole teenage life and middle school years is basically roaming these streets with my buddies. Walking, biking, roaming these streets and just doing teenage things back then. You know, back then there was no social media, no nothing like that. Uh, you know, us teenagers, we were out on the roads, out on the streets doing like teenage things, you know, hanging out with your friends doing activities, not uh, not staring into some kind of electronic device. I think those were the, I think we, we were the last generation after that. All this generation now is just all, all on their phones. No real life experience of anything. I love Mountain View. If you guys come out to Mountain View one day and get on a bicycle or something, just truly explore Mountain View, you guys might find a new perspective in life, right? A new perspective in Mountain View. Roads are nice and good over here in Mountain View. Right there looks uh, that gentleman looks just like the guy from um, from the Walking Dead series. I forgot which what was his name, character's name. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, big puddle here. I don't want to go through that. kids picking up Easter eggs too much snow right now to be doing Easter egg hunts that's one thing I miss about living downstate you know you can do Easter egg hunts outside but in Alaska uh, too much snow how much 
is gas price running in Anchorage right now. Gas is almost about four bucks a gallon. Well, it's already at four bucks a gallon, so that's a estimate right there. Got a homeboy that lives down over here as well. I want to check out the uh, the Lions Park over here. The Lions Park over here is a encampment for the street folks. Damn, there's a car in the forest. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but the nice the sun is nice and out today. It's coming out today. It's coming out right now. This is the East Anchorage Mound View. So that truck right there is not supposed to be in the woods. So that's one of the encampments where people just hang out now. This encampment here, pretty much they need their own zip code. I remember when we were teenagers, we used to go into this forest here and just kind of walk around and such. And nowadays, uh, nobody really do that. With the breakup season now, um, you, you can kind of see through all the woods now, and you can, uh, we can pretty much see through all of this um, camping area here where all the folks are camping. And man, it's just up here on the north slope, our kids are doing easy hunt outside. Nice. There's a lot of intersection in Mountain View where you don't have the stop sign, where you have the right of way to go. But I always tell people to slow down because sometimes there's a lot of stop stop sign runners. People always blown through the stop sign in Mountain View, so I always take it slow when I approach intersection. Oh, there's another there's another burned down building right there. You guys can't see it. The holiday, the uh, Mountain View Holiday Gas Station has now converted over to Circle K. I'm looking at their uh, sign right now, and their gas price is $3.99 a gallon for regular. I think this summer here in Anchorage, gas will be going up. Gas will eventually get up to $4.50 a gallon. That's my prediction. So. Definitely plan for that. Definitely plan for a four and a half gallon of gas. It's crazy that we are now conditioned to four bucks a gallon. You guys remember when it went to four bucks a gallon, everyone was complaining, was whining about it. But now, you know, three, four years later, when it gets to four bucks, we don't complain no more because we are so conditioned to it. Everything just takes uh, transitioning over. That's all it is. is always packed but no one's pumping gas people just come and park here and go and use the store Woo. this house on the left side here is one of the house that always has like 
activity. Damn, it's so crazy, man. This is the Mount U Lines Park. And it used to be used to be safe for kids but I definitely wouldn't bring kids here oh lots of bump lots of potholes too Mountain View Lions Park is a really, really nice park, guys. When you look at it, it's one of the best looking parks in Anchorage because it's big, it has multiple play sets, it has a baseball field, it has a barbecue, um, a section to barbecue and stuff like that. And it's just a really nice park. But again, it's gone downhill and it's just not really safe to come out to come here no more. This house on the right side you guys are seeing there if you guys can see it this one always have activity sketchy activities uh it got on it got on fire last year and then people were still hanging out around there but now it's completely empty but i'm pretty sure people are still um still coming out and hanging out there because there's tons of stuff in the front yard there Pull the hands across from the gas station here. This is one of the last big camp in Anchorage here. I don't know if I want to drive through it. It might be blocked because of all the campers here. But let's drive through it to show you guys. Damn. This is pretty crazy. This right here is one of the parking spots for like the uh damn they got a lot of crazy stuff now. There's a freaking tree house right there. You guys see that? They got a tree house. This guy's I think the baseball teams are gonna have a good time this year playing baseball. This baseball field, they always have baseball games and such, but I don't think they're gonna be doing that this year because um, street people, they pretty much took over the parking spot. It's very bumpy too, so don't come down here unless you have a truck.